So I recently introduced a new video series on my channel called Billy Black's VD, the viral discussion, where I just take a whole bunch of viral videos and I discuss them, make fun of them. A whole bunch of YouTubers are doing it, and so far it's been a really good hit on my channel. So I, when my last videos, I didn't really have a whole bunch of videos for that segment, so I told my subscribers to please send me in weird ass videos for you know the next episode. At first, I thought that was probably the dumbest fucking idea I have ever had because right out the door, everyone sent me fucking snuff films and videos of guys getting raped by horses right out the fucking door. The very first video someone sent me, they said, um, you know, here's a crazy video for you, but don't say I didn't warn you. I'm thinking, all right, had to go to a whole other website, and I wasn't even on YouTube for obvious reasons you'll find out later. Um, and the video, the steal, um, before you hit play, was a swastika. So I knew that this video was not going anywhere decent. And then I click on it, and it shows like a couple of guys standing up, and two other guys kneeling down with their hands behind their back, like bound and gagged. And I was like, it's not going to end well for those guys that are bound and gagged. And um, as I'm watching it, one guy, just, one of the standing up guys, just charges one of the bound guys and starts going at his fucking head with a knife and saws off his whole head with a goddamn gigantic fucking blade. What the fuck? Then the next film that several people have suggested for me was called uh, Three Guys, One Screwdriver. Now, I knew it had to been a shock video, but in my mind, what I thought the video was going to be about was a guy taking a screwdriver and jamming it up his pee hole. That's what I imagined to be all the time. So I avoided that fucking film. I was like, all right, well, everyone's suggesting it now. I'm going to go check it out, and maybe I can talk about something like that. And it's another goddamn snuff film. What the fuck, guys? It just, it's three, it's two, well, it's two fucking kids beating the fuck out of a guy with a hammer in a bag, and they start jabbing at his eyeball with a screwdriver, and then he dies, and they, they fucking stroll away. Now, I actually had to look this up on Wikipedia to see what the fuck the story is, and it's real. It's like a bunch of Russian kids, are in a, they're in, they live in some random village, and they have killed like 20 people. And they, they had videos of them um, going to the funerals of the people they killed, flipping off the coffins, flipping off the tombstones, and then they had a whole backstory on Wikipedia page, they had a whole backstory for that, that victim in the video, and it talks about his life and his other near-death experiences and, you know, his children. So there's like a whole face to them now, <laughs> and and now the kids, they were sentenced, thank God. They all were sentenced to life imprisonment. Fucking life in prison? They should give the widow a screwdriver and a hammer and just let her fucking go at those punk-ass motherfuckers. Now, the other video that was sent to me, and was, again, it's another video that's been suggested many times, but I've avoided it, and I had to watch it, though. It was... Um, Two guys and one horse, if I'm not mistaken, that's the name of the video. It's a dude getting fucked in the ass by a gigantic fucking horse, and then he dies fucking after the incident. Uh, and then I had to look that up, too, on Wikipedia. And, of course, it gave me his name. It's like Kenneth uh, Pinion or something like that. And they made a fucking movie about that. The Sundance Film Festival made a movie called Zoo. And the, like the poster for it is just like a fucking eye, uh, eye of a horse. It's like I want to fucking rape and kill you, motherfucker. Uh, so and that actually that video and his death caused like Washington to say, okay, you know what, bestiality isn't cool anymore. And if you film it, you're probably going to go to jail for a while. Why did it have to take someone getting killed and they go, you know what, we can't fuck animals anymore. We can't let them fuck us in the ass. <laughs> What the fuck is going on in Washington? Was it cool before? It's like, yeah, just, you can film getting fucked in the ass by a horse all day long. Just don't fucking die from it. Now, thankfully, after all those fucked up snuff suggestions died down, I actually did start getting some really good videos in there. So, guys, don't stop sending me videos. But for the record, I don't want to see people getting murdered, and I don't want to see people getting fucked in the ass by a horse. It's not my cup of tea. Please don't do that anymore.